New at 10 getting closer to a plan for one of the busiest stretches of freeway in Wisconsin. The public tonight got a first chance to weigh in on the future of the I-94 East West Corridor. Tony Atkins explains why this is needed and why not everyone is on board. A lot of people have a lot of ideas about how to reimagine this interchange right behind me, and that's exactly why WSDOT says today's input session was so important. A room filled with concepts about the future of a well-traveled road. I-94's east-west corridor near American Family Field could look much different in the coming years. You do realize we need to do a reconstruction. Now what that reconstruction is going to look like, that's what this process is trying to work out. These include two alternative looks with two types of traffic flow, a hybrid interchange as well as a diverging diamond design. WSDOT is also considering six and eight lane alternatives. Most of the freeways were built back in the 60s and into the early 70s. They are all nearing the end of their useful life cycle. People attending with varying opinions. I'm definitely on the side of keeping the six lanes versus the eight lane proposal. Jonathan says he doesn't want WSDOT to touch the freeway at all because he says neighborhoods are already divided by the existing freeways and parks. But they want to spend, you know, all, all the hassle, all the money on a project that can possibly, it's just an emotional pipe dream. For Zach Roeder, a biker who took his bike from Walker's Point to West Dallas to give his input, he says he's hoping that whatever is done not only benefits Milwaukee's drivers, but pedestrians and bikers as well. I think Wistat is making their plans a little bit better, but they should um, advance them a lot more by making more investments in our community for biking and transit and for people walking. Zach says as the process continues into more formal hearings later this year, he only hopes the public input today is not only heard, but implemented to accommodate everyone. There's a lot of inertia to change, and I think, you know, Wistat's done things the same way for a long time, and they need the push of people in the community to really tell them what we want to see for our community. And if you want to be heard, there's going to be another open house set where you can give your input at Marquette University High School. For more information, visit our website, tmj4.com. For now, reporting in Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.